hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to this video so guys uh, we have completed our project so we have uh, already written this training pipeline and everything the only one part is left which is nothing but our prediction pipeline and the and the front end part creation okay so in this video actually what i will do i will uh, try to create this prediction pipeline and our front end uh, like part of our application so that uh, user will upload one image okay and uh, it will uh, give you the prediction on top of it okay so for this actually what uh, i need to do hmm. first of all i will create one uh, file here called app.py okay because uh, this is going to be my endpoint so actually I, I will be just running that app.py okay and my application will be start and there actually i will be keeping two route uh, one is like our training route and one is like our prediction route okay so basically uh, here i'm i'm going to use like a flask okay uh, for this project uh, uh, to create the like you can say api part uh, okay and uh, i'll use some html code to create the front end part so that's why i will keep this flask code inside app.py okay so what i will do i will uh, first of all let me unexpand these are the folder because we have co already completed okay yeah so i will create one uh, file called app.py here outside of this uh, all the folder okay that means inside my uh, root folder app.py Uh, let me see i have installed uh, flask or not uh, okay so flask is not installed okay so to install flask okay i will add two more packages here uh, called flask and flask course okay now i'll save it then again i will open my terminal and i'll just write pip install ivnr requirement.txt okay so let me first of all install this flask So guys as you can see the installation is done now uh, what i will do uh, i will create one uh, template folder here okay because inside template i will keep my html code so first of all i will create one folder called template it should be templates okay no spelling mistakes otherwise it will create issue inside templates i will create another file called index.html okay so this is going to be my uh, index.html file okay inside that i will uh, write some html code and uh, you don't have to worry about the html code because uh, this kinds of code actually will be getting from the bootstrap itself so let me show you so if you go to google okay just search about bootstrap okay bootstrap so i will get one uh, website so here actually we'll get lots of free template okay so if i just start with the uh, example so actually it provides lots of template okay so you can choose any kinds of templates okay so i have chosen one template okay image uploader template uh so you don't have to worry i will share this html code with you okay so you can use add as it is so now what i need to do uh i will create my uh, prediction pipeline first of all so i will open my src inside i have uh, cnn cls okay there i have created pipeline okay so here actually uh what i will do I will create my prediction pipeline here okay so i will just uh, take a new file and uh, i will just uh, give this name as predict okay predict.py so here first of all i will import some of the libraries okay so these are the libraries are needed okay then i will create one class called doccat because this is the doccat classification okay so it will accept one file name basically the image actually user will upload okay the file name it will accept then uh here i will write the final method which is nothing but uh predict cat dog okay so this method actually will uh, try to predict uh your uh okay images like whether it's a cat or whether it's a dog okay but for this actually i need to load my model so i'll remove this line because this is my pre uh, older code so what is my model it is inside artifacts inside training okay so here let me mention so it's artifacts okay artifacts then i have training okay then inside that what i have i have model.h5 okay so that's actually i can load the model using ways.part.join okay then uh, i was using uh, i think you remember i was using uh, vg16 model okay so if you are using vg16 so let me show you let me close this configuration and open my uh, params.yml so here what was my image resolution it was uh, two, uh, 224 224 okay but here if i come uh, 
it is already mentioned as uh, 6464 okay this this was the lower res resolution i was using so i'll remove this line and i will just activate this line okay because uh, my resolution is 224 224 and uh, uh, here i will be uh, taking the image and convert to numpy array then i will expand the dimension okay then i will uh, do the prediction okay then the prediction result actually uh, i will print and uh, if it is like is, is equal to is equal to one then that means it is predicting dog okay then i will send this uh, prediction as a json format okay then what i will do i will return this prediction as a json format okay then uh, if it is not one okay that means it is a cat okay so why i got this number i think you remember if you just uh, go to cat dog uh, data set okay uh, cat dog data set kaggle so kaggle already mentioned this thing like whether uh, which class would be which id okay so let me show you if you just go to data so here they have mentioned okay one is equal to dog and zero is equal to cat okay so that is what i'm just mapping out okay so this is the prediction code this is the prediction pipeline only now what i will do i will uh, come i'll come to my app.py okay and one thing i also need to mention uh, inside utils so i will open utils okay i'll uh, open my common utils so here actually i need to mention my encode and decode image okay so whenever the user will pass one image okay it will be convert to base 64 then this base 64 would be accepted by this uh, uh like you can say uh, decode image okay decode image will uh try to again convert to the image format and it will save it okay so that's actually we'll be using because uh to the uh, from because from the front end itself actually i can't pass the raw image okay so that's why we need to convert to base 64 okay so for this actually i need uh, two method i will mention inside common.py okay decode image and encode image and for this actually i need to import one package called base 64 so let me show you yeah okay base 64 i have mentioned now let me close it so first of all let's import our flask okay then i will import this decode image from this common so let me import so i'll just write from uh, from cnn classifier okay uh, dot utils i'll just import my uh decode image okay decode image this uh method okay then i also need to import my doc cat uh, from this uh, pipeline okay predict pipeline so i'll just write uh, from cnn okay then inside that i have something called pipeline okay then i have predict then i will import my doc cat okay now I need to initialize my flask then I will initialize one class called client app okay and whatever image uh, would be passed by user okay it would be saved as input image.jpg okay then that thing actually I will uh, send it to my doccat class I think you remember this class will accept this file name okay then uh, first of all I will create one default route okay so whenever you will uh, uh, hit the api okay it will render this html page okay i think if you know a little bit about flask i think you know whatever i'm writing here okay so it will launch this html then i will create another uh, then i will create another method called predict okay so predict so uh, whenever you are uh, trying to click on the button like predict image okay it will start uh, like it will first of all take the image okay then uh, it will send it to uh, this uh, then actually it will decode the image okay and it will save uh, here the image and it will start the prediction and it will uh, like send the result okay and then i need to create another route called uh, my training okay so let me create it also because uh, we have to also start the training so what I will do, I will just give this name as train. Okay, I will uh, also add this gate here. Then uh, I will just name it as train route. And inside that, uh, 
what i will do i will uh whenever uh it it will you will hit this uh, uh train route okay it will start the training so for this i will uh i need to uh, like run this main.py okay so i'll just write os dot system okay here i will just write the command python main.py i think that's how we run the main.py right so in python actually uh we can also execute the file like that okay then once it is done then i'll just return uh training done successfully so this is the message i will give now i think everything is fine now let's initialize my host and port yeah so this is my local host and this is my port number okay so now let me test the application whether it is working or not i think everything is fine okay so let me uh, execute so i will clear now actually i will run this app.py because uh this is my endpoint okay so i'll just write python app.py see it's running okay so i'll just click on this uh either you can just uh copy paste this link okay other is just uh, press control and right click on top of it okay it will uh, start the browser okay so let me show you so this is the uh browser it has started okay and if you see uh this is the uh, like front end part of our application okay so now here actually you can upload one image so let me download one docpad image so what i can do i can copy paste from here only so let me go to my project folder inside artifacts i have my data ingestion pet image let's take one cat image okay so let me take one cat image from here i'll take this one i'll just keep it uh, inside my download okay yeah now let me uh test it i will upload go to download yeah this is the cat now i'll click on predict so so here if you see i trained one epochs but it is still able to predict it is a cat okay so uh, that's why i uh, suggested just try to train with multiple multiple epochs okay we'll get a good model okay see it's uh, working perfectly and now uh, let's uh, upload one dog image also and see so I'll, so i'll upload one dog image and let's see whether it is able to predict okay it's telling cat because uh, uh you need to again train with multiple epochs then it will able to learn this is a dog okay so uh, this application is working perfectly and we have created the ui now user can use this application okay uh and we can also deploy this application right now now see this is the this is for the predict route okay now let's uh, uh test out uh, training route as well so what i will do i will come here and i will uh delete this artifacts and uh, i will also delete this score.json okay so initially actually it won't be running because uh you don't uh if you like remove this uh, artifacts okay now you have also deleted the model now see if i want to predict something now it will throw me error okay now if i just click on predict and if you open the terminal so here if you see this is this directory is not found because we have already deleted the model okay so that's why it's not working so that's why you need to first of all train the model so to train the model i think you remember we created another route called uh, slash train okay so here you just need to provide slash train okay now if you just press enter see it's loading that means uh now if i open my terminal see uh it will first of all start the data ingestion okay see it has created the artifacts it, it is uh, it has started the data ingestion that means your training pipeline has started okay because here i have run this uh, main.py because main.py is our training uh okay my, my training uh pipeline endpoint okay now let's wait uh i will uh, come back once this training is done So guys as you can see uh training has started okay so let's wait so guys uh, my training pipeline has run successfully now if i open my artifacts now see uh, my model has also generated okay now everything is done here now i can also do the prediction right now because my training is done and it is telling training done successfully okay now what i need to do i will uh just remove this uh dot slash train now i'll go to this uh default page now let's upload one image and test it
so let's upload this cat image only and predict see it's working okay so that means uh, guys we have successfully completed our application and it is working perfectly okay so uh, there is nothing to write okay here uh, you can improve this project okay if you want uh, just add the logging and all okay you can add also logging here and exception here but uh, i will keep this thing okay uh, on you uh, so that actually you can add some more functionality here okay uh, so this project is done guys now uh, so from our next video actually we'll start uh, the deployment okay of this project uh, so but uh, before that actually i need to commit these are the changes because we have created these are the thing so let me commit so i will open my terminal first of all let me uh, stop the execution if you just press ctrl c okay it will stop the execution now clear i'll just write git add git uh, commit prediction and ui added and uh, git push origin main now if i open my github so yeah we have successfully committed so yes guys uh, this is all about uh, uh, from this video okay i hope you enjoyed the entire series okay and uh, we have uh, implemented one beautiful project now you can pick up any data set and you just use this template okay you just use this uh, process you just follow these steps okay and try to build build up your application okay and try to mention those are the application in your resume so it would be pretty pretty much great okay so yes guys this is all about if you like this video just try to subscribe to my channel and try to share this video with some uh, with your friends and family okay and try to give a like also uh, like and just put the comment like uh, how uh, how was the uh, entire playlist okay and let me know whether uh, what kinds of uh, like um, playlist you want in future so that i can bring up with uh, okay so yes guys this is all about from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time